Alright, so today I got a uh, package here fresh from China. It is a uh, pine sill uh, portable soldering iron. This is the outside box. We're going to unbox this today. Uh, this is from I think the same people that make like the Pine Phone. I think they're called Pine 64. Um, they also make a few other products. But this was what I was most interested in. Yep, there it is. Pine 64 Pine Soul. There it is. So this is a uh, soldering iron that is powered by USB-C. Um, I think it can work with any uh, USB-C like charger or in this case a battery I'm going to try it with. Um, but I think it works better with like laptop chargers that are able to provide like more power. Um, I'm pretty sure USB-C can like deliver up to like 19 volts or something. Obviously with this just being a normal USB end on this side it's just going to be 5 volts and whatever this battery is able to provide which looks like it can do 3.1 amps. So. If you have like a laptop charger or whatever, a different kind of power supply, this would probably heat up faster, but I think it'll still work with uh, this battery I have here. Maybe if I had a USB-C to USB-C cable it would work better. No, it looks about the same. But we'll go ahead and plug this in give it a shot. I got uh, something to set it on here and some solder. It looks like it also has a DC jack on it. Actually, we'll just give you a closer look at this. So, there's the little screen where you can change the, uh, the temperature and stuff. Little rubber grip. That feels pretty nice. And the soldering tip. I'm just going to plug this in. Alright. Looks like it turned on. Settings. Boost mode. Um, doesn't seem to be heating up yet. Let's see. Do I have to do anything special? DC low. Power source. That must be for changing the uh, the uh, DC power jack voltage, what it's looking for. So I am assuming that is like lithium batteries it's talking about probably, like 3S, 5S, 6S, something like that. And then DC. I wonder if 
this is not enough to uh, start it up. Let's see here. I have to look into this some more. I wonder if maybe I hit both of these at the same time. Maybe it's just complaining that there's not enough power. Uh, I thought it was supposed to work with a normal trigger, but let's see if there's a manual or something. It doesn't appear to be. Alright, I'll see if I can figure this out and come back. Alright, <clears throat> so it looks like this is looking for anywhere from 12 to 21 volts at 17 to 60 watts, um, which I do not have any uh, USB power supplies that can do that but it has this DC jack. So I have this alligator clip to DC jack from my battery charger. So, and that fits into it. So center positive is what it says there. And I found this old HP power adapter that I'm assuming went with a laptop or something at some point uh, that puts out 18 volts 1.1 amps so I think that is just enough to get it to work so I'm going to double check which side is negative on here and then I'm going to hook this up alright I have to be careful because this is plugged in. We're gonna check the polarity on this. According to this, black should be negative, and it appears so. You can't see it, but and if we swap this around, it should be negative. Yep. All right, so this tape is correct. So that means I'm assuming this is also marked as center positive because that's probably the most common that uh, DC power jacks are. So we're gonna hook this up. This is the uh, most janky way to do this, but I don't have a USB power supply that is uh, powerful enough for this, so. We're just doing this and hoping for the best. I'm just getting this out so that, uh, taping this up so that, uh, doesn't short out on me accidentally. There's a lot of stuff going on right here. Alright, now we should be safe to plug this in. Alright, that's a good sign. It detected 18 volts. I don't know if you saw that as it booted up. I could do that again if you want to see. See, it detected 18 volts. So, now we're going to turn up the uh, temperature. And hopefully, this uh, works. Alright, it's powering up. 
8.9 watts. Hundred degrees C eighteen volts. I can smell something warm. So I'll let this warm up a little bit. And then we'll see if it'll melt some solder. Yep, definitely can smell it. So it seems to be working. We're at uh, 290. Let's see if it'll melt now. Probably getting close. Yeah. There it is. So this thing works. I just need to find a uh, USB power supply powerful enough to power this. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is. Oh, I should not have done that. Alright. I'm just going to leave that like that and turn this off if I can. Oh, that's interesting. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and plug this, unplug this, and... So there's that. USB soldering iron. Even though I had to use the DC jack. Eventually I'll try and find a uh, power supply that will power this, so I don't have to have this mess hooked up. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Alright, I'm going to clean the tip off of this. And while I do, I'm just going to say that uh, this soldering iron actually heats up a lot faster, even though I have this whole janky setup up, and it's only... I think it said, yeah, it says 8.9 watts. Even though it's only using that much power, this thing heated up so much faster than the soldering iron I have now. I just figured I'd mention that while I clean this off. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.